This also happens to be an outside feature. Everything else was inner, inner stuff. So what's the one thing he says should be an outward habit that will cause change within you? It happens to be the one about encouraging others, spurring one another in, what was it? Toward love and good deeds. If you do that, that has an internal effect on you. That's the outside habit that'll have an internal effect. Now there's enough cowboys in this church to understand spurs. So here's what a spur does for those of you like me that may not have always been wearing them their whole life. But they go on cowboy boots, duh, right? And they aid riders in communication to their horse. But it's the smallest of touch in the right way that will cause a horse to pick up its pace, focus, uh, focus, move to the side, settle down, turn. It's these tiny little movements of the spur that causes that to happen. You barely touch the horse to cause great return. What an incredible example. What an incredible, poignant example for us as we follow God and encourage one another. There's a lot of people that think encouragement comes through a hammer and they go and they tell people like this is what's wrong with you and this is how you should be moving forward to get people to change. Like the the way people, let's not go that, let's not go that route. What the Bible says is the slightest bit of touch and love and care, the slightest bit of encouragement is how you move people in their faith and love and good deeds to others. Don't miss that that's part of this whole aspect of the so what of following Jesus Christ. 